Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tool Cruise here with Tunjes. With Tunchan, and today we're going to be doing a little bike review. This is Tunchan's first ever ride on the new BMC Road Machine. This is one of their top models, the 013. So it's got carbon wheels, SRAM Force, E Tap, and just all around great bike. Kyo no ride o so we're actually here in Morikoto Park, which is a cycling course here in Nagoya, Japan, where we live. It's a great course, five kilometer course. You don't have to worry about any pedestrians. You don't have to worry about any cars. It's completely cycling only course, which is really cool. I've made a couple other videos on this channel about the course. So if you're interested, you can check those out. But anyway, we're gonna be doing a full loop of the course right now and get her impressions on the bike. And it's also fall season right now. So I think we're gonna have some really nice views of the trees along the course. Anyway, let's get on the bikes and get going. So this is the course right here. Tuanchan's excited to try the new bike. And every lap you have to get off your bike and then you can get back on over here. They've also got a bunch of different rentals over here, but you can see most of the rentals here are just kind of like city bikes, mama cherry, so nothing too fast, but I think it's only a hundred yen a lap or so. Anyway, we're gonna get going on our lap. Dozo <laughs> sakini. So for many of you guys who watch this channel, fans of the channel know that I work for the BMC distributor here in Japan. So today's actually a work day for me. We're here with uh, Nana-chan, who's a YouTuber from Osaka, a cycling YouTuber who came here to visit us in Nagoya, where we're based. And she came to do some test rides on some of the new BMC models. So we came out to the cycling course today to help her out and give her some test bikes to try out. So she's trying out the new road machine as well. And Tu and Chan's also trying out the road machine. And this course starts with a nice little incline. You can see there's course markers on the side. So we just passed the 300 meter mark. Everything's gonna be in metric system. So sorry for all of you guys from the US. And yeah, it's a five kilometer course, nice mile markers and beautiful day today. Here we go. We're starting to get some of the koyo or fall leaves as they say. Just beautiful variety of different leaves right now. The green, the yellow, the red, the orange. I love it. This is my favorite season to ride. And unfortunately, I don't get to enjoy too much riding this season because I ride my bike to work every day. So my commuting time is about 7 a.m. or 6 p.m. So it's always dark and cold. But right now it's really nice. We're in the middle of the day. It's about 1 p.m. right now so we've got some nice sunlight some nice warmth and yeah i've had a lot of events lately with work because it's the new bike model year season so we do a lot of demo days and so i haven't been able to ride much actually this is one of my first times riding now without a backpack on which is a crazy feeling because i commute with my backpack every day and there's a nice variety of trees here you see some pine trees i don't really know my tree names very well though so i'm gonna stop there with the one I do know and yeah I don't feel like talking for the entirety of this video so we're just gonna go ahead and continue on the full loop of this course and if I see anything interesting I'll talk about it then I know some of you guys have complained that I don't need to talk for the whole video so that's good to know coming across our first kilometer marker point. So 4.1 kilometers to go. We're still on the climb. The course begins with a climb and then we got a nice downhill and then the course finishes with the climb that continues to this climb that we're at now.
starting the downhill now. It's really fun taking this course at speed, at race speed. We're just going at a nice comfortable pace today though, but I'll see if I can convince them to do some hot laps later. Four percent decline, two kilometer mark. And let's get out of the shade. It's actually pretty cold today, about 10 degrees Celsius right now, but the temperature itself isn't so bad, but it's pretty windy, which is making it colder than it actually is. Nice brisk fall winter air and wind. And this part's pretty cool. The road turns red, warning about this sharp curve right here. So that sign says, drop your speed. Most of the people that come out to this course just come out for a nice, enjoy, enjoyable ride. And, but there are a couple race events here that are held. Oh wow, these are really nice, beautiful red leaves right now. This is... But yeah, this is a really fun course to race on. There's actually a race coming up this weekend. I actually work at the event as a volunteer, as a course marshal, so I roll with the racers and make sure everyone's safe because there's hundreds of people out on the course at the same time, so I'll probably be making a separate video for that race, so if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and you can check out that video once I upload it. I've made some videos of the event in the past for the last year or two, so you can check out those as well. Always a good time. Uh, but it gets really cold in these shady areas right now. It's that time of year where you got to put on your warmer jacket, put on some warmer clothes. Fast people going by and just past the 3K mark. Another cool thing about this park, so this park is called Morikoro Park. It's actually a really big park in by Japan standards and even by other country standards. This place is huge. They've got a bunch of different facilities here. They've got an ice skating facility. They've got an indoor pool. They've got a whole bunch of different athletic fields, soccer fields, tennis courts, baseball fields, and just a whole bunch of different areas like a garden that you can walk through. And another cool thing that's over here, nearby here, is I believe it's called Satsuki in, in May's house. 
So from My Neighbor Totoro, the Japanese animation movie, they have the house um, that is used in that movie, and they're actually turning this area into a Ghibli park. So I'm sure those of you who are animation fans or Ghibli fans have heard the news of the new Ghibli park. That's actually being made here. So right over in this area, it's going to be, it's actually being built right now. They built some of the sections so far, like they already have the Totoro house. And they're building that right now, so that's going to be really exciting to see once they finish that in the future. But yeah, beautiful park, great facility we have nearby. The only disadvantages are this place closes pretty early. I think you aren't allowed to get on the course after 4 p.m. It officially closes at 4.30. And I don't think it opens until 9 or 9.30, so you can only use the course during the official business hours, which is a little bit of a negative because most people have work most days, so the only time to come out here then is the weekend because you have work every other day. And the weekend, this place is just crowded. There's a lot of kids, a lot of families, so it's not a great place to ride then if you wanted to get some serious training on your road bike. And over here, we've got our giant Ferris wheel. Japan has a big obsession with Ferris wheels. You'll see them in every big city, every major attraction generally has one. I haven't been on one, I'm not the biggest fan. And not because I'm scared of heights or anything, it's just I don't like just sitting in a place for too long. If I want a good view, I'd rather like hike a mountain or ride my bike up a mountain. So here we are, we're starting the final climb. About 1k to go from here. There's also a couple different bathroom breaks along the course that you can stop at, different facilities. Straight ahead here, this is where the indoor pool is and the ice skating rink. And this building here is actually a restaurant. So if you're hungry, you can stop in there, get some ramen. The ramen restaurant is actually a local Nagoya chain from here, Sugakiya. So you can see there's some people parking their bikes over here. Probably gonna take a little break and go get some ramen. Over here, these trees are really beautiful when they're in blooming season. Unfortunately, we're heading into winter right now, so everything's starting to get a little bit gray and dreary looking. But thankfully we still got this as well, these beautiful fall leaves colors. A lot of the trees here, um, some of the signs I haven't really talked about, they're mentioning different locations in Japan. So these trees come from all over different parts of Japan and either were donated to here or are collected. So that one is from Okinawa. So I'm not sure if they were donated here or it's just part of the, what this park's doing. They want to have a nice collection of different trees and plants from different parts of Japan. But it's pretty cool. And here we are in the last 100 meters of the course. So we can, you can see we've been going through these little tunnels. Those are overpasses for pedestrians above so they can walk to other parts of the park. And the other sort of disadvantage of this course is you see this yellow part here is you have to get off your bike and walk around to the start again after every lap. And the reason for that is just safety. They don't want people flying by here because there's some walkers walking to the walking path over here and some kids around. So. It's just an extra safety measure, but so yeah, walk your bike, get off your bike, and that's one lap. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
しゃべりながら走ってた、登ってた、うん、全然気づかない、そんなに。あ、登りもそんなに。そう、そう全然。全然気づかなかった。全然気づかない、ただ<笑><笑>走りながら喋ってた。うん。それだけです。うん、電動シフター大丈夫？うん。慣れた？慣れた慣れた。So this is her first time using the new SRAM Force 12 speed shifters. They're a little bit different than the DI2 because you got one button on this side, one button on this side. ね、一つのボタンしかないからちょっと違う。うん、簡単に、いや簡単に。あ、簡単、うん。簡単に覚えれる。うん。もう一つしかないから。うん、すぐ慣れた。すぐ慣れる。うん。すぐ慣れた。いいね。うん。買おうか。<笑>そんな金はないよ。お前で。<笑>この前乗ってたフラットバーの通勤の自転車と比べたら。どういうスタイルが好きなの？両方でいい？両方好きで。両方欲しい。<笑>うん、両方は欲しい。うん。別の時で使う。うん。これどういう時に使う？長いライドも使いたいな。長いライド？うん。最近ロングライドやってないな。やってないね。やろうか。次どこに行こう？どこに行こうかな。どこに行きたい？シマナミライド。シマナミライドやりたいな。うん。じゃあシマナミ帰ろうこの自転車で。うんうん。じゃあ会社に頼んでみる。お願いします。<笑> So that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing the nice fall scenery in Morikoto Park. And we'll see you guys pretty soon in the next video. See you, Tunchan.